to engage in violence. To this day, MAGA Republicans in Congress defend the mob that stormed the Capitol, and people died later. Yep. Uh, it's 34 minutes after the hour. Look at who we've got with us right now. Don't get him wet after midnight or something. Bob Seska joins us now. Hi, Jody. Is it Thursday already? I it's know. It's just so so weird. weird. This is just a very... St- we're going to have Frangela on later, and yeah. it's Wednesday. That's so crazy. it's very confusing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, it's like uh, it's like when you wear the uh, shoes on the wrong foot, and, right. and you don't realize it initially, and you go, something's not right about this. Well, like <laughs> if you wear Bomba socks, they have a right and a left side. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so exactly you right. Put yeah, them on wrong, like. they don't feel right. It's just everything's exhausting. upside down by twenty four hours. Yeah. It is. It's very very strange. Um, so, um, your thoughts on the judge and her ruling regarding? Uh, the Mar-a-Lago search warrant and then the special master, which I think is the funniest yeah. title mm-hmm. ever. But um, <laughs> I mean, the fact my my big problem with what her ruling stated was they're not allowed to continue investigating. That's where my issue is more so than anything else. Yeah, and even from a bigger picture than that, this is obvious a situ- obviously a situation where she's rewarding Donald Trump for nominating her in the first place, for right. uh, putting her name up. And so I, I get the distinct sense that this is all about, uh, oh, here's your, here you go. <laughs> Just peeling off a few dollar bills here. Here you go. Thanks. Thanks for putting me on the bench. I appreciate that. And now here's your very special treatment that is unprecedented that no one else in this country would ever enjoy or has ever in the past enjoyed. She's just creating new things. This is the danger, and and there are many examples of this. And we'll talk about, I guess, the uh, the bombshell news story last night from the Washington Post. Yeah. This is just another example of why it's such a dangerous precedent to set when millions of Americans, mm-hmm. millions of Americans, went into a voting booth in 2016, and then again in 2020 in greater numbers, and said this uh, game show host nincompoop con man should be handed uh, nuclear secrets and the nuclear codes and all this responsibility, all these loopholes. And I compared it on the show yesterday to, uh, you know, giving a monkey a machine gun. Mm -hmm. It's a well-worn metaphor that we've talked about in the past, but it's, I think it fully applies here. And once again, Donald Trump had the capability to nominate not just judges at the district level, appellate level, and so on, but also three Supreme Court judges. So this guy who was stashing nuclear secrets of some other nation that we don't right. know yet. I have some uh, ideas about that. But uh, this guy <laughs> has all of this access and he never deserved it. He, I mean, There's no reason why Donald Trump should have been given that level of access. He, there's no reason why he should have been made president to have that access in the first place there was no there was no indication in his character his experience anything that he was about that said that he could responsibly handle these things that he could responsibly handle tssci documents that he wouldn't you know it's it's so obvious what he did throughout his presidency he used these documents as if he was just some guy shopping at Costco. Yeah. He's going through, okay, yes, I could use that and I could use that. And oh, that, yeah, give me a big can of that. Right. And that's what he was doing. He wasn't prepping for the next day, which is absurd. He doesn't do that. He no. doesn't prep. No. When, when does Donald Trump ever do homework? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he couldn't handle this paperwork over here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So no. he was going through these documents, he was carrying these documents up to the residents because he was looking for ways of applying leverage to his friends and enemies alike, yeah. figuring out ways that because he's not a real billionaire, because his entire fortune is held together with barbed wire, scotch tape and Russian money. For that reason, he was obviously always looking for an angle. He's a con man, always looking for an angle, a way to either increase his power or increase his wealth, yep. increase his influence. And so I think or increase that... the number of times that the press mentions him. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's, yeah, addicted, exactly. he's addicted to uh, attention in the press. Yes. Same whore. Yeah. Right. And, and so in this case with Judge Cannon, she basically gave him more slack, more rope here. Here, you get more freedom because you had this position for four years and now you have special privileges. You have, in fact, 
you enjoy executive privilege even though you're no longer the executive right right someone else is the executive who says you don't have executive privilege i mean th there's always the distinct possibility here that we enter into some sort of constitutional crisis with this it's always the case with donald trump but in this circumstance uh, you know that's always a, uh, it becomes an increasing possibility when the courts step in and start to uh, you know mess around with the established way of things, and and uh, and along those lines, another reason why we need some presidential level reforms passed through Congress. Yes. I, I mean even Bill Barr, number eight, uh, soundbite number eight. Um, even Bill Barr agrees with us on this. The I mean, yeah. warrior, Bill Barr. Opinion, I think, was wrong, and I think the government should appeal it. Uh, it it's deeply flawed in a number of ways. <clears throat> I don't think the appointment of a special uh, master is going to hold up, but even if it does, I don't see it fundamentally changing the trajectory. I, in other words, I don't think it changes the ball game so much as maybe we'll have a rain uh, rain delay for a couple yeah. of innings.